what uh, what a way we've come since meeting on that knackered old minibus nearly eight years ago. <laughs> Uh, how, how we've managed sort of almost single-handedly to organise this wedding on your own shows what a remarkable person you are, um, especially with what you do in the last year. And like every relationship, there's disagreements and obviously the final conclusion is that you're always right. <laughs> but, I mean, I've asked a few people like last night and today, and they all think it's normal for the groom to play football on the, the weekend if he's when. <laughs> what are you doing, Class <laughs> Marriage is about giving and taking, about forgiving and forsaking, kissing and loving, and pushing and shoving, <laughs> caring and sharing, and screaming and swearing, about being together whatever the weather, and for being driven to the end of your center, about sweetness and kindness, and wisdom and blindness. Abby, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of marriage. And as a lasting reminder. And as a lasting reminder. Of the vows we have made. Of the vows we have made. This day. This day. Andy, I give you this ring. Andy, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a lasting reminder. And as a lasting reminder. Of the vows we have made. Of the vows we have made. This day. This day. I am delighted, therefore, to declare you are now husband and wife. And you, sir, may kiss your wife. <laughs> <laughs> strength and show me your weakness we're in this together now we're in this together now give me your love and tell me your secrets cause we're in this together now yeah we're in this together now since since the evening i got down on one knee under the moonlight in your grandparents' garden in Wooler, which would be the last time that you'd ever go there. Our love and support for each other has grown stronger every day. And whether it's you picking me up when I'm stressed and down about work, 
or whether I've got the RAC, RAC on speed dial for your next breakdown. <laughs> and by the way, she doesn't drive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the little names we call each other every day and the way we answer the phone to each other fills me with laughs and happiness and I know it's the same for you. And there's nobody I'd rather dance around in the kitchen with. <laughs> Um, she met Andy on her 18th birthday, I think on a night out in Newcastle. Not long after that she went off to Hull University okay. <laughs> <Who's that? laughs> um, to study at children's nursing. Um, and they were talking to each other, I didn't know, still don't know what that means, talking each other to each other until about the following Christmas. And it went on from there. They managed to survive three years really apart. Um, and then Abby went to live in Newcastle. Andy was still in Bishop Auckland doing his um, apprenticeship. I never doubted that Andy was the right sort of person for Abby because he's a calm, gentle um, influence to her loud, exhausting, energeticness. I've 